Meanwhile, Pakistan has launched what it calls a comprehensive operation against militants holed up in the tribal North Waziristan region. Reports say about 105 militants have been killed so far. Well, this operation comes after a week of multiple attacks on the Karachi airport. The Taliban and the ethnic Uzbek fighters holed up in North Waziristan have both claimed responsibility for the attacks. Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif had long opposed outright military action, stressing the need to bring the Taliban to the negotiating table. But the decision to send troops means that the powerful army has once again won the upper hand in Pakistan. It also raises the risks of revenge attacks by Taliban insurgents. Reports say Nawaz Sharif is likely to make a public announcement about developments in Waziristan today. All of this affects India and terrorism in Jammu and Kashmir. All eyes will be on the update that the Pakistan Prime Minister offers. You know, there are sanctuaries in Pakistan, and especially in North Waziristan, where it had a very partial control over that area, with the result that these uh, militant groups, and especially Tehreek Taliban Pakistan, and also many other foreign groups like the uh, Islamic movement of Uzbekistan, and also people from Chechnya and Dagestan and other places, have been using the sanctuaries to attack within Pakistan and also outside Pakistan. So I think we will be able to establish our writ over there, clean these uh, sanctuaries and then uh, the, uh, I, I think the incidents of terrorist attacks within Pakistan and outside uh, will also...